Hello and welcome to Worldwide Campus News and Entertainment. Today we're going to make spaghetti carbonara. First things first, I already heat up the non-stick skillets. Also, I have the water over the pot that we need to cook the pasta. When I have in a large bowl, then I'm going to combine three large eggs, have that at room temperature. We're going to break all the eggs for first. We use the whisk. I'm going to use the word of four teaspoons of kosher salt. And I'm going to use the word ground black pepper. I think this is about a half teaspoon or so. Just keep whisking over. And I'm just going to switch these from the wire whisk. We're going to put in two cups of Pecorino Romano or Parmesan. I'm going to use the one with the shredded. You can use grated that you have in the house. I'm just going to fold that right in. Use it with a rubber spatula. Just want that real coated. And we're just going to set this for momentarily. We got the water just boiled up. I turn it on high and I salt the water. Let's throw in 16 ounces of spaghetti. You just want to cook the pasta according to directions on the back of the box or the packet. I'm going to make sure it's all dente. Or you can tenderizing the pasta. I'm going to keep an eye on it. And I have here over medium heat. Let's put in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. This is going to swirl around. And we have the pasta has been already cooked through real quick. Now we're going to throw in pancetta. I have this one for the boar's head. One of the branding. It has with diced uncured pancetta. This is only about four ounces of those. You know pancetta it has pretty Italian for bacon. We're going to pop this right in. We're going to let this pancetta nice and crisp. So we're going to leave the oil on. And I can see the pancetta is almost getting nice and crisp. You can also try with guanciel. It's spelled like G-U-A-N-C-I-A-L-E. Those bacon is almost getting crisp. So once that crisp is over, you can go ahead and add the pasta. Has been already drained. And just going to toss it, use it with the tongs. And I'm just going to use where the pasta water has been already reserved as I need for it. Just keep tossing, use it with the tongs. And now you can go ahead and add those eggs and cheese combos. And I'm just going to melt it right in. Here we go. It just all melted with the cheeses and the eggs that has scrambled up for the pasta. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and remove from the heat. Alright, let's just play it up. You can see there is all the pancetta, the eggs and cheeses. It just like scrambled eggs. I'm giving you guys a really closer look. This is, has been already finished. Now you can also sprinkle some fresh parsley or you can sprinkle some more of the Parmesan cheese. It is up to you. And you have a finished spaghetti carbonara. If you're interested for more recipes, write down in the comments below if you want to see something. Make sure to view all videos you watch before sharing. Subscribe to my channel, click the bell to see all notifications about the new videos and the latest video, and don't forget to smash that like button. As always, bon appetito!